Hey, I'm Kelly Stamps, and I'm gonna show you how to do three very simple braids. A French braid, a Dutch braid, and a fishtail braid. I'm not a hairstylist, I'm just a mom who likes to do a girl's hair, and I'm not crafty or creative, so I promise you, if I can do this, you can do this. Okay, first I'm gonna show you just a regular French braid. So what you wanna do is you wanna get a little section of hair at the beginning of their, closest to their forehead, and you're gonna divide it into three sections. One, two, three. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start on the right or the left, it doesn't matter, and you're gonna cross over the middle and so that the middle piece, you're gonna pull it over and it's gonna become the right. Then you're gonna take the left, cross over the middle, so that the middle piece moves over to the left. The next you're gonna do is grab a little bit more hair with your right, cross over the middle, the middle now becomes the right. Take a little more hair from the left, pick it up with the strand you already had, cross over the middle, the middle becomes the left. Once again, pick up, you're going to take your right hand strand, pick up a little bit more hair, cross over the middle, your middle becomes your right. And kind of pull each time so it stays tight. Pick up another strand of your left, cross over the middle, so the middle comes over to the left. And so that's what you're going to do, you're just going to keep on picking up a little more hair crossing it over. Pick up a little more hair on the left, cross over the middle. So you're just going to continue to cross over the middle all the way down. Pick up a little more until you've picked it all up. I usually divide the hair um, in the, I do a part so and then put half of her hair over on one side so I kind of know where I'm going from. Pick up a little more hair, cross over the middle, and you just continue to do that all the way down. Um, once you get to where you've picked up all her hair, she has a ton of hair, so <laughs> it takes a little longer because um, her hair is very thick. So the braids might look a little different can, um, whether you have thin hair or thick hair. It's gonna be a thinner or thicker braid. Her braid's really thick and really heavy. Okay, now I've picked up all the hair so now you'll just do a regular braid all the way down. So you're just going to keep crossing over, crossing over, not picking up any more hair, but crossing over. So that is just a normal French braid. Easy, right? Now we're going to do a Dutch braid or what is the braid on the outside. So this is very similar to a French braid, only you're going to take the front section, so it starts off very similar, you're going to divide it into three pieces. Instead of crossing over the middle, you're going to cross under the middle. So you cross under the middle, this become, the middle becomes the right. You cross, take the left, cross under the middle, the middle becomes the left. Pick up some more hair and cross under the middle. The middle becomes the right. Pick up a little more hair with the left and cross under the middle. The middle becomes the left. Pick up a little more hair and you're gonna cross under the middle. Pick up a little more hair and cross under the middle. So you're just, you're just weaving under, weaving under. Pick up more hair, go under the middle. You can see it's starting to form and it's puffy. Taking some more hair and crossing under the middle. Got a little, oops. And you want to pull it tightly so it'll stay put during school and PE and recess, soccer, whatever we've got going. Otherwise, my girls come to the car and their hair's pulled down halfway through the day after all this work I do. So you're just going to continue to cross under, cross, pick up, cross under, pick up, cross under. I call this the Dutch braid. That's what I've always heard it referred to. You, you may have heard under other things. Um, 
This is one I've just learned to do, but I love how it looks. So kind of the same thoughts, except on this one, you're gonna keep braiding, but you're gonna cross under. So where you would normally braid the other way, you're crossing under and kind of weaving your way all the way down. And I think that makes for such a cute look. The last braid is a fishtail braid. This is a little bit different, but I love the way this looks. So on this fishtail braid, you're gonna take, okay, so if I'm gonna do two braids on her head, I'm gonna take this whole section of hair and divide it into two sections, loosely. So like this. So what you'll do is you'll take, the, you'll take a little section from the front and you bring it over here to this section right here. This one is hard because you really have to hold tight to it um, to get a tight braid, otherwise it gets pretty loose. So then I'm gonna take a section from over on this section, so the far left, and I'm gonna bring it over here to this section. This braid is really hard getting it started, but once you get it started, it goes pretty easy. So then we'll take another small little section and we're gonna bring it over here. Where with a normal braid you have three sections of hair, you're only working with two sections on the fishtail. Pull it tight and you're gonna bring another little section over and you're gonna bring another little section from this side. So you're just gonna keep bringing small sections over to the other side. So it's kind of like Red Rover, Red Rover. <laughs> Bring this side on over. You can think of it that way. And you're just gonna keep doing that all, let's see, she's got some hair tucked under her ear. So it's deceiving. And Harper wears hearing aids, so sometimes the hearing aids get in the way of the braids. That's okay. So see how it starts to make, um, it makes a really cute braid. I love the way it looks. And they just keep going. Little tiny section, little tiny section. You don't cross over the big sections over and over each other. You just keep doing this all the way down. Just a little section crossover, a little section crossover, a little section crossover. See, it makes for such a cute braid. I love the way it comes on this side of her face and then the way it looks on the way down. And that is the fishtail braid.